Yo, what up, what up, what up? How you guys feeling? Good? Of course you are. Of course you are. Why? Because we say so. It's a beautiful day. Why is it a beautiful day? Because we say so. We decide when it's a beautiful day or not. We decide when it's good and when it's not. And every day we say it's a beautiful day. Today is a great day to have a great day. That's what we say. We decide, nobody else, not our feelings. We don't listen to our feelings. Why? Because we tell our feelings how we are supposed to feel. If you stub your toe, you say, I'm good. That ain't shit. If you fall, you get back up. You know what I'm saying? If you're tired, you're, you're saying, I'm awake. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't cave to negative feelings. We don't cave to that shit because we men. We are men. We don't listen to our feelings. And that has been the problem for the last fucking couple of years. Guys, that's what they've been telling us. All men out there, listen. They've been telling us, be more like women. Get in tune with your feelings. You should feel more. Cry. They've been telling us to be something we ain't. Women, they've been telling us, telling you that you should be like us. Think and act like men. Be leaders. Fucking take control. Don't cry. Don't nurture. Be strict and disciplined and logical. Don't listen to your feelings. That's what they've been telling you. Now, if you think about this, mental health problems have never been higher than it is. Like it's skyrocketed in the last 20 years. Why is that? Like if you if you use your brain for just one second here, like let's let's be logical, right? They want men to be like women and they want women to be like men. I don't know about you, but something's wrong there. Like I can't put my finger on it, but it just sounds wrong. Maybe maybe you know What's wrong? Maybe you can comment below what's wrong with that. You know, what is wrong with men being like women and women being like men? Comment below and let's talk about it. Right? Like if you can use your, your analytical mind, if you can be logical for one second, Like it, I remember, look, I'll give you a perfect example about this. 10 years ago or more, more than 10 years ago now, I had mental problems, mental health issues, right? And I, I didn't know what to do. I felt lost and all that. I was suicidal, blah, 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 blah. So... I talked to some people and they all said you should seek seek out psychotherapy and I was like well I don't know about that like I don't have a purpose anymore like you know I had just quit hockey which was my life which was my passion from when I was like five years old like that was what I was gonna do for the rest of my life and I just quit like a, a, a few years earlier, like one or two years earlier than that. And I was just lost, lost in drugs, alcohol, women, you know, trying to find pleasure, like quick pleasures, you know, all the time. Because that's what everyone was telling me to do, right? Now, I didn't have a mentor or anything like that, right? So, 
talk to my family and everyone and like friends also and everyone was telling me go seek out psychotherapy like let go talk to someone that can help you and I was like finally I was like all right I'll do it so I did it and I talked about my problems and then she says well you're thinking wrong and because of that I will give you medicine so you will start to think right and I was like wait what she's like yeah you're thinking wrong I was like no no I'm not it's like yeah 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 you are you have to you have to take medicine and I was like no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take medicine she's like yeah you you, you need to this is what you need other otherwise your life would be shit and we went back and forth I was like no I'm not going to and she's like yes you should blah, blah, blah. and we went back and forth back and forth back and forth and then yeah, I just I just flipped I told her yo it doesn't matter if you give me the medicine put it in my hand I'm not gonna swallow it like, it doesn't matter what the fuck you do I'm not gonna take it and if you would if you would be uh, here working with this because you you like people or you do it for the betterness of people you want to help people become better and like healthy and all that you would not recommend me taking medicine and she's like and I, I was like you're just here to get paid you're only here for the money you don't care about people because if you p care about people you would listen to what I say and you would not let me you would not give me medicine and she's like, well, what do you want? And I was like, yo, I, I just want to talk with somebody that understands. She's, and sh then she's like, well, why didn't you tell me that? And I was like, whoa. Now, this is the fucking problem with society. You have people who's not their best version. They're not trying to be... The best version of themselves they're not trying to reach their goals they don't want to you know if you if you live your truth if you want to find if you want to work with what you want to work with like you want to become the best at it you would not take the easiest way out you would you would fucking do anything like if you were a mechanic car mechanic you would not you would not leave someone else's car like with a broken tail light and just put tape over it. You would work overtime for free. Because this is the best for hum hum humanity. You cannot go out on the road with a broken tail light. I will fix it for free. Because I, I, I want you to live. You know what I mean? So this is the problem. People are fucking pussies, man. Stupid. And they're not living their truth. They're not trying to be the best version of themselves. Because we have governments telling you, poisoning you with food, with, with media, how you should think, what you should, you should think, what you, you should put in your body. Telling you, you can't be healthy without medicine. It is just wrong, man. It is just wrong. It's... Man. Guys. If you're a man, you need to fucking start working. I'm not kidding, like you, you need to fucking stop crying and stop fucking caving into your feelings. You need to listen to your mind. You have to tell yourself, this is what we're doing now. This is how we're feeling and this is what we're doing. I'm not negotiating. That is why I 
am saying I am amazing every fucking single day because I'm programming myself like you've been programmed to say oh, I'm a little bitch yeah it's the same fucking thing you've been taught to say no I don't know how to do that no I can't I'm a fucking bitch yo like for real man like ah man I'm not respecting you and so like no man no real man is fucking respecting you if that is how you are if you're a fucking punk ass bitch you don't deserve respect you have to earn your respect and you, you do that by showing up. Guys, just think about this. If you're working at any job and you show up every single fucking day and you work, whether you like it or not, you're there every single day. You're working, you're working, you're working. You're doing your best. And then there's this one other guy he comes and goes whenever he wants he show up once or twice a week and he's demanding to have the same respect as you he's demanding to get paid as much as you he's demanding equal uh, outcomes as you but he's not doing the same job as you. He's not doing, he's not pulling his weight. Now, would you respect that man? Honestly, would you respect that man? Nah, you wouldn't. Now, this is the problem. This is the thing with equal, like gender equal bullshit. Y'all want equal outcomes. But you want you don't want equal opportunity. Cause you're a fucking bitch. Guys. Women become more feminine. It's not attractive. You being masculine, it's not attractive. I'm telling you, it's not attractive. Guys, it's not attractive to be feminine. Like, if your girl can fucking beat you up, and if you would fucking sacrifice your girl if someone breaks into your house, you're a fucking bitch, man. We are here to protect. Listen, the world would not be able to go on if there were only one woman and a hundred guys but the world would go on and it would thrive and it would be rebuilt if there was only one man and a hundred women why because women can give life they create life we can't I mean, we shoot the load, but you know what I'm saying? We can't bake the, we can't bake it. We don't have the oven. You know what I'm saying? We got the ingredients, but no oven. So, and don't tell me I'm a woman and I have a dick. Uh, 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 I'm, man, these people are so retarded. Oh, God. I won't go into that. I'll get canceled. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't care about that though. Anyways, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Guys, take responsibility of your fucking life. Be a fucking man. Man the fuck up. Chest up, chin high. That's what we live. That's how we live. We take it to the chin. We eat that shit. 
we don't cry. When we fall down, we get back up. Why? Because we're fucking amazing. That's what we is. Because we're fucking men. And we're here to win. And we don't get, give two shits about people who is not giving their 100% every single day to become the best version of themselves. We don't respect them. Guys, another day, another dollar. Easy motherfucking money, you heard? Easy motherfucking money. You know what it is? We woke up like this. Peace out, y'all. Comment, subscribe, like the video, you know, all that good shit. Let's go, fam.